Should AI-generated images be considered photography? Well, that's what we're going to talk about. Welcome to another day, another decade, where we curate the top news stories every single day. And this weekend's top news story is this photo that won a photography contest. First, to get started, we need to define the word photography. Photography is the art or practice of taking and processing photographs. Well, a photograph is a picture made using a camera in which an image is focused onto film or other light sensitive material and then made visible and permanent by chemical treatment or stored digitally. And that's where things get really confusing because for the first time in history, an AI generated image won the Sony World's Photography Awards Most Creative Photo. But it wasn't a photo, it was an image. And that's the point that Boris was trying to make. So every year Sony has this competition and it's one of the biggest photography competitions in the world. Boris submitted his image for the Creative 2023 Open Competition and he submitted the image in hopes of sparking a conversation about AI's place in this field. He was obviously very happy that he won the creative category. He's been a photographer since 1989, and he's also been a photo media artist since 2000. And after two decades of photography, my artistic focus has shifted to exploring the creative possibilities of AI generators. And this is where it gets interesting because he won, but he refused the prize. He says, AI images and photography should not compete with each other in an award like this. They are different entities. AI is not photography. Therefore, I will not accept the award. He writes that the whole incident has shown that the art world is not prepared for the rapid advancement of AI image generation technologies. Things like Midjourney and Dolly are creating images that can compete with real photos, but there's no place to actually submit your photos. People are just submitting them with regular photography. He applied to find out if they were prepared for AI images to enter. They are not. We, the photo world, need an open discussion, a discussion about what we want to consider photography and what is not. Is the umbrella of photography large enough to invite AI images to enter, or would this be a mistake? With my refusal of the award, I hope to speed up this debate. Having been a photographer for 30 years before I turned to AI, I understand the pros and cons of this debate and I will be happy to join the conversation. The World Photo Organization has yet to make a public statement about the win and controversy. But what makes this interesting is that all mention of his image have quietly disappeared from the competition's website and from the expedition. He actually traveled to London from Berlin on his own dime to visit the expedition that is being held to attend the award ceremony put on by Sony World Photography Awards. He paid for the flight, hotel, rented a tuxedo. He pretty much paid $800 to say no to $5,000 worth of Sony equipment. How funny this is a picture that was taken of it being displayed to everybody. So not only did he go to the ceremony, this is where it gets crazy, he actually did a Kanye West moment and crashed on the stage, uninvited, to speak briefly to the audience and deliver his statement in person. He took the microphone at the award ceremony in London and delivered his statement and refused the prize. He's never been to the award ceremony. He expected to have a short moment on stage as an open competition category winner, but he didn't. They only asked the overall open competition winner on stage. Then they had a dinner break, and after dinner, before the second part of the show, he went straight to the host, told her that my image was selected as a winner for the creative category, open competition, and if he could say something. She was taken by surprise, and I did it anyway. That's it. No response. And after he did that, he stayed until the very end. No one came and approached him. No one was interested in communicating with him. Only after his Kanye West style interruption of the ceremony did he find out that he'd been completely scrubbed entirely from the website and expedition. This was the image that was on the wall, and now there's something else. Back when photography was advancing in technology, it used to be on film, and then it became digital, and the whole conversation was, are digital photographers the same as film photographers? This was an age-old debate, a lot of pros and cons, and a lot of people who felt very passionately either way. But it's interesting to see how the AI space is now entering this conversation. I think one super easy way to integrate AI is to have a category for AI images. It obviously doesn't make sense for an AI image to be in competition with a regular photo. They're just not the same thing. 
It's like having a photography competition, but then you accept sketches and doodles. They're just not the same. So if you want to expand the space, and if you want to go towards mass adoption, the thing that makes the most sense is to have its own category. Well, that pretty much sums up today's news. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button, scroll down, hit that like button, because not only does it make me feel good inside, but it also trains the YouTube algorithm to show you more and more videos like this, because I know every single day in this space feels like a decade's worth of news. So that's what we do here. We cover the top news stories every single day. And with that, I'll see you in the next video.